Welcome back, friends and followers. What the f is this? Where did that stuff come from? That's better. I'm glad it was only dust. But how do you remove that kind of thing from a video? That is exactly what we're gonna go through in this Final Cut Pro tutorial. So when I was editing my last video, I was rather annoyed when I discovered that I, in some of the clips, had some dust on my shirt. And well, it didn't really help to clean the monitor. So what happened was that, let me show you instead. So here I'm opening the case, I'm leaning it towards my shoulder, and then we have introduced the dust on my chest. So what happened was that after this shot, I did some retakes, then the dust was there, of course. So we have an example here where I first have a shirt without any dust, and there we have the dust. So there are, of course, different ways to deal with this. And I would like to edit as fast as possible. So what I would like to do is to find the easiest way to remove this. In this case, I'm going to use a Final Cut plugin called Patch Pro from Pixel Film Studios. Okay, so let's go to the title and generate library. And here, select the Patch Pro and drag it on top of the footage we would like to fix. Adjust the length of the title so it match the length of the clip. Select the uh, title and then go to the Inspector panel. First thing we're going to do is to track an area where we're going to patch from. I'm going to move the playhead to a frame where we can see this area clearly. So that is fine. I place this on top and then I track forward. Here I can select the tracking quality. I usually use 50% because then we're only tracking every second frame. So it goes so much faster to track. And here we have an issue because the hand was in front of the area we were tracking. So what we can do is that we just add some manual keyframes. Then we can just step forward with the arrow. He's on our keyboard until that object is gone, and then we can resume the auto tracking. Okay, so here we also failed the last frame, but that is just because the last frame is actually the first frame of the next clip, so that is expected. Then we're gonna track the first part of the clip, so we position the playhead where we started, and then we track backwards instead. If we would have had fast movements in this clip, then I would have definitely selected maybe 100% because we then have to track every single frame. And when the tracking is done, we export the data. When the export is done, we just simply go to step number two. We're gonna track the problem area. We open the track editor again. Now it's important that we're actually gonna track the area where we have the issue. In this case, we position this frame at the same place and then we track forward. And then we export that data as well the same way as we did in step one. And after this step is done and the export is completed, we go to step three where we're gonna mask the patch area. Before we can do that, it's important that we go up to the control mode and change this one to edit mask. Then we're getting this little pen tool and then we're gonna select the patch area with the same shape as the area we would like to fix. Like that. When that is done, we go to control mode again and select the offset placement. And now we're gonna place these patched pixels on top of the problem area. So we can actually place this wherever we want. But in this case, we're gonna place it just on top of the issue and bam, like magic, it's gone, it's vanished like it was never there before. Now we just have to make sure that it looks great in an entire clip. So let's start from the beginning. It looks great, it looks fantastic. Let's see what's happening when the hand goes. Uh, yep, there we have some issues. So let's scrub backwards. These ones are not perfect. It could work because it just goes so fast you maybe don't see it. The issue starts around here, maybe there. What we can do then is that we go to step four. We add some keyframes to the position, angle, and scale. And then we can just move this one and adjust the position. So it fits perfectly. We can even select the size of it. Like that. I really think that is good enough for this because it's gonna go so fast so no one is gonna notice. So now you know how to use this plugin and how easy it is to get rid of dust. So if you thought this video was useful, helpful, at least enjoyable, please give it a thumbs up. Be kind, be safe, see you in the next video.